This is not clickbait. That's right, guys. There is a secret map inside of Brawl Stars that you may have never seen. Now, if you have played on this, this video probably is clickbait, but for a lot of you, I think it's not clickbait, and you may have never come across this map inside of the game. It's not Minecart Madness like we have pulled up on the screen right now, but Minecart Madness has to do with the reason why you have never seen this map. Uh, I have scoured the web for YouTube videos on this map, I could not find it, guys. I played it last night on the stream with uh, in some friendly matches, and even seasoned veterans were surprised to see the map and had never heard of it. So what is the map and why? Well, guys, in order to play this map, it is not in regular rotation. We have to go into our friendly match menu here and look at the different maps. And so we scroll down, guys, and as you get towards the bottom, there it is. Stock Crash, guys. Here is the map, the secret hidden map that you probably never played inside of Brawl Stars. It is a pretty cool uh, gem grab map. I really like it, guys. I've been playing it um, on some friendly matches quite a bit, and, and it's been really cool. These launch pads on the map actually um, actually are valuable. For once, the launch pads are valuable, and uh, it, you'll see how that works out, guys. It is pretty cool, and the, I just think the bushes and the water, the way it's constructed, everything ends up uh, working out so well. So there it is, guys. Stock crash, and we are going to select that, and in spirit of the new uh, star powers being out, uh, we are going to be playing with Jesse, Vivi, and Gene uh, as best as we can. And so... Uh, we have Jesse's Shocky. So the turret now shoots energy orbs that bounce between enemies. Oh my gosh, that one by far is the most OP. And BB, so when BB gets her home run bar charge, she now has a shield, which reduces damage by 30%. Pretty cool, but not nearly as cool as Jesse's. And then Jean, which is probably the least exciting out of all of them, but still really handy, is going to be pat on the back. And so hitting teammates with Jean's super now heals them for 2,000 health. So those are the new star powers. We're gonna go grab some people from Discord and we are going to play on this secret, top secret map. Let me know in the comments below if you've played this map or if this is a complete surprise to you guys. I hope this isn't clickbait for you. I hope that this is brand new to you and um, I think this is something that a lot of you will be really, really interested in seeing. But guys, I almost forgot to tell you why it's not in rotation. So here it is. I'm reading this straight off Reddit. This is from someone named Ivan Stock, and I don't know the credibility of this, but it sounds pretty legit. There can only be 14 maps in, rotations for gem, in rotation for gem grab. Stock Crash and Crystal Cavern are out of rotation while Minecraft, he says Minecraft, Minecart Madness is in rotation twice so they can get more data on dynamic features. So the dev team is trying to get more data on how the minecarts are interacting with brawlers in the map. And so they put Minecart Madness into rotation twice. And I knew that, I just didn't know they took out Stock Crash and Crystal Cavern to do that. Crystal Cavern is a map that's already been in rotation before, but Stock Crash is a brand new map and they decided to put that one aside while uh, Minecart Madness is gathering data. So who knows when we'll see this one actually in rotation, maybe on the next update, guys. Uh, but that is exactly why you haven't seen this map, but it is available inside the game if you play friendly matches. All right, with that all being said, let's get into some gameplay on this sweet new map. So here we go in to the secret map on Brawl Stars, guys. Gem grab, stock crash. We got some peeps from Discord here. I'm playing Jesse. We got Gene and BB. So we got Jesse, Gene, and BB as the comp on each, uh, on each team. So they, oh, and instantly, BB's shield comes into play. Um, and I just get smashed right off the bat. Uh, but we're gonna get to see all of these new star powers and it should be super exciting guys i think this will be good but oh my gosh i think i'm going to aggro and i have to watch out for that bb because um oh my gosh she just crushes me in two seconds all right there she is let's stay back just a little bit this time we have to get our turret up that's going to be absolutely key um as we know the oh my gosh gene okay let's throw the turret just in the middle there i don't <laughs> I don't know if that was a good move. Probably not. They're going to kill that pretty fast, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to be smarter with that next time. But guys, here are these launch pads. I think we're going to hop on here as well um, and check this out. It pops you right behind that wall. But look at that turret shooting. Oh my gosh, they're little tiny orbs and they're flying so fast. What in the world, guys? 
That is so OP, those, the, the turret shots fly so fast. Um, but yeah, that launch pad spot is so clutch. It pops you right behind your hair, so you have some pr protection. A lot of these launch pads on these maps will put you out into very vulnerable places. And it's just incredibly inconvenient. Now, BB's going to come in. She's probably going to crush my turret pretty quick, but it stays alive, thankfully. Um, let's try to take out BB. There goes my turret just a little bit. Uh, but guys, let me know what you think about this map. I hope you get to play it uh, in some friendly matches because it is just fun. Our team has the countdown. I haven't been getting any gems at all. Look at that turret doing work. We're going to toss another one. Uh, it lands in that corner there. Uh, Gene's going to come in hard. BB there as well. Uh, those guys go down and we take home the win, guys. All right, Serial getting star player, and shout out to everybody who joined up, Untitled, Serial, Gino, Linus, and Mag the Wizard. Thanks guys so much for joining this friendly match. We're gonna go back and get into it again uh, with those same brawlers and the same comp guys. <clears throat> I think I played, <clears throat> I think I played Jesse. Okay there, I think I can play her better. I'm gonna try to go left this time instead of right. Um, I think I just got destroyed by that BB and she's probably gonna expect me to be over there again guys BB I think BB's um, BB star power did come into play quite a bit there. I didn't really realize myself getting healed um, See Jean's star. Oh my Jean's star power just as you saw there is so incredibly OP um, For you know on the offensive. I don't really see it being used on the defensive and it's not very often that you get your super up anyway, so... Oh my gosh. But that, obviously, Jesse's turret is the most OP out of all these star powers. Um, but yeah, I just don't see Gene being used on the defensive. I mean, maybe in these niche, um, these niche kind of situations. But not that often, guys, and I don't know about gem grab. Their, uh, their teammate is using it on the offensive as well on the enemy team. This time they have uh, quite a few gems right off the bat, guys. Um, so I have to go ahead and focus in on this game if we're gonna try to win. Let's put down our turret right here and hopefully it starts to do work. It does, I think. Yes, Untitled takes out Magda Wizard. Linus is gonna be right here with four. We die. Linus has four, 44 health and he dies, goes down, and we get all the gems. It is 11 to zero, guys. That was a miracle. Um, Mag the Wizard over there, and I do get a nice shot on him. Let's throw that defensive turret down, um, which is going to do work on BB. Uh, three seconds to go, guys. I think we're going to take this win as well. Yes, we do take the win, and Serial gives me a little bit of extra health there with his super. So finally, <laughs> we see the star power in action, although it was right at the end of the game. All right, we're going to play a couple more matches. Woo, all right. Two dubs to start it out, guys. Feeling pretty good about this. I definitely just feel like this map is super balanced. Um, I do like these two areas of grass right here so that you can stay back just a little bit and then use this fence. This fence and box are so critical um, in playing defensively and getting back. There's three gems out there, guys, and we just let them sit there as I'm trying to commentate. Um, Gino's gonna be trying to tag us up a little bit. Here's our direct uh, opponent with Jesse as well. Um, BB and BB are gonna go at it just a little bit. Okay, we have our turret up. I haven't decided the best place for turret placement. Let's try to go over here. Um, that's gonna pop just on the other side of that wall, guys. And we're just playing kind of a conservative match, trying to own the center a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and auto aim a couple shots on, on um, Gino and he does not go down. It's three to four, but guys, we just lost a bunch of gems. Um, not the best turret placement by me, I'm gonna admit that. And um, BB goes ahead and gets me with her bubble pretty hard. I think we have to, uh, I, I think we have to get that turret on the right again or in the closer to the center. It's just being blocked. Okay, let's go ahead and toss that turret right over here and we'll see what that does. Okay, our turrets are just gonna go after each other. Let me try to take out hers and okay, great. All right, still nine to one though, guys. We have to make something happen here. This is, no, this is not good. Um, I should have been thinking about taking out some, oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna go and get wrecked in the, in the bushes there. Um, and I think they're gonna take only this one, so it's gonna be two to one after this. That should be the end of the match. Three seconds left, and uh, no, yeah, we're not gonna be able to get off those shots, guys. I was not focused enough on taking 
um, taking those gems away from the enemy players. I think I was just playing too conservatively, uh, but Gino gets the star player, and the other team is going to uh, take that win, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into a couple more matches here. Hmm. All right, guys, yeah, give me your feedback on what you think of these new uh, star powers. Let me know what you're having success with and uh, what you're enjoying. It's crazy how many star powers are out there now, guys. There's literally so many star powers to be had. I think it's a really healthy and awesome thing for the game. And uh, I think the more that, you know, they add, as long as everything is fairly balanced, we'll be good. Um, you know, I know there's, uh, like, Shelly's star power is obviously pretty broken uh, band-aid. Um, but, oh, I just dodged that shot pretty nicely. Yeah, so, yeah, Shelly is pretty broken, but guys, there's great, great star powers out there, like Mortis's, um, Mortis's Coiled Snake, or you also have Terra's Healing Shade. So I think there's a lot of different things that you can do to counter those OP star powers. And, yeah, well, oh my gosh, BB's gonna come in hard. A lot of people have said they're, you know, Shelly is broken and whatnot, I just think... Um, I think, you know, as more star powers get added, the me uh, meta changes a little bit and you're able to do some different stuff. Now we get our star power up. It is four to four. Now it's five to five. This is the most even match yet. Uh, let's be careful about our turret placement here. Um, no, not in the middle of the map. Let's place it right over here and see what we can do with that. Oh, Gina is going to get me with that, with that super, unfortunately. Man, how are they going to fix Gene's star power? I don't know, because that just seems... It has to be something different um, than what it is now, guys, because I don't see the usefulness of it right now in, in terms of a defensive mechanism. It just doesn't seem to make sense. Um, those guys are playing really well on the offensive and controlling the center of it really nicely. Uh, untitled with eight now though guys we can bounce a couple shots here we could get this let me throw my turret down there see if i can take someone out um i have to get some shots on them please it's so close gino gino come back i gotta hit him i gotta hit on him wait, 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 wait guys i think i can do this okay we got the countdown now um and we did end up taking out gino we have all these over here but we dropped them and uh guys my teammates are just doing work without me even noticing <laughs> wait we dropped all the gems now oh no it's one of those classic classic games of gem grab guys that's absolutely nuts and uh, I don't know <laughs> what to do oh my goodness okay five seconds guys yeah we're we gotta be toast wait I don't know where they are they're all the way over there I'm way too far away and we go down oh man guys we had a chance there mag the wizard gets the star player I feel like star player has been all over the board it hasn't been one brawler standing out um, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into one final match, guys, here on this secret Brawl Stars map. Uh, I think it's pretty, guys, I think there should be secret maps like this more often. Um, not just on friendlies, but I don't know, ways to unlock secret maps. Of course, word would get out so quickly that, uh, as far as how to do it. And I don't know how that would work, but I just think it's cool that we're able to, um, I, I don't know, maybe if there were more maps, experimental maps, I think, um, I think sandbox mode, guys, is something that I'd really like to see inside of the game. And part of that could be custom map making. I mean, people are making custom maps already. Um, on other platforms, but guys if there was custom map map making within the game How cool would that be and then you could play friendly matches? Inside of your custom made maps and then it would be kind of a complete sandbox mode and you could toggle out and off Modifiers and all that good stuff. I think it would be super sweet If uh, Supercell could make that happen um, I mean People love building maps and building their own thing and kind of making the game their own. And I think that would be a way to keep some freshness to the game. Because, and, you know, all these maps come into uh, rotation, but people get tired of them and all of that. And so if you could kind of make your own maps, and then we could see which maps are the most popular. And, um, you know, Brawl Stars could get an idea of maps that should actually be implemented into the competitive scene. Uh, because you could either upvote it or, you know, we would be able to see which 
uh, maps have the highest play rate and all that stuff, and they gather all sorts of great data on the maps before they were even in the in the game. And I just get rocked by Penny's uh, Jesse's turret there. It's gonna be eight seconds, and the other team is going to be able to take away this win. So guys, I think they actually came away with three wins, and we only had two. Uh, but that was the map inside of Brawl Stars that you've probably never seen. And uh, those are the new star powers. Let me know what you think about the map. Let me know what you think about the star powers. There it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and also follow me on Twitter. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.